Welcome to Texas Top Homes, where home buying, selling, and financing are all simplified. I'm your host, Freeman Sawyer, and with me is my co-host, Tracy Wiesman. Visiting us today is one of Texas Top Realtors, Dan Holmes, with Ingle Volkers. Uh, Dan, thanks for being on the show. Wow, thank you very much. It's really a pleasure to be here, and I appreciate you inviting me. Thank you very much. So, Dan, when you're working with sellers and you have the multiple offer situation coming in on the home they're selling, how do you help them decide which is the correct offer to accept? That's an awesome question because when sellers do get multiple offers, they're really not sure what to do. So the first thing that I do in representing my sellers is make a competition out of the offers. So I get back with all the buyers, agents, and say, hey, we have multiple offers and we need to get the best possible offer of all the terms that you can present to the seller by a certain time and day. Like a best and and final. Best and final. Once once we get that, then we can sit down and start looking at all the pieces of the offer because price alone is not necessarily the best offer. It's all the other terms and what is wrapped into the offer and what other agents put inside some of the terms and conditions, which sometimes the uh, sellers aren't aware of some of those terms and it's my job to bring it to light to them to say hey this offer has x this offer has y x may be better than y because of and so that's my job to advise them through that process and do you do you present all the offers or just the best no oh no absolutely you we're required as a licensed texas realtor to present any and all offers to a seller and we are required uh, by our code of ethics to do that and when you do best and final, how much time period? You said you give them a finite period of time. Is that like typically a day or a two days? Usually uh, I like to do one day, one day. Uh, because you don't want to let too much time elapse. We want to get uh, uh, the home under contract as quickly as we can with the best possible price and uh, the best outcome for the seller because that's my job in representing a seller is to do the best uh, possible terms and conditions of a contract for them. Right. And when you look at those terms and conditions that they kind of have wrapped in there, as you made reference to, are, are there some that are more attractive right now than others? And is there some that maybe are deal killers right from the start? Well, certainly. Uh, uh, for example, you can have some that have contingencies, uh, a contingency of a sale of another home. And, that's, and there may be another buyer that has a non-contingent offer they don't have to sell a home. It's going to look uh, way more attractive. And so that's much more attractive than the one sure. the person that has to sell a home. Sure. Understood. Okay. Are you seeing a lot of people with contingencies? There right are some now? still. Are there? Uh, there are some still that uh, do contingencies. I have one right now that asked me today, can I make an offer and make it contingent on the sale of my home? But if it's a contingency, if I'm representing the buyer, then uh, what I would do is, is say, we really need to have your house under contract. If we have it under that contract you're that you're selling, then we make an, a contingent offer on a home you're buying. It's much more attractive. It gives me a little bit more leverage with uh, the seller negotiating with the seller agent on the home you're trying to buy that we have your home under contract that you're trying to sell. Make sense? It does. Uh, Dan, if someone wants to find you and maybe list a home or look at one of those properties with you, what's your website? Absolutely. Danholmes.evusa.com. And if they want to call you direct and set something up? 817 Five two eight four six zero six. 